Hi, my name is Beru and I'm going to show you how to install Nubla FX version 3 into your Adobe CC 2014, 2015, 2016 and 2017. Now if you if you've come to realize that when you install uh, the Nubla FX version 3 it does not install in those uh, versions of a CC. Now the only way you, you can do it is to install it manually. That's the trick I'm going to show you today. There. Now, uh, I'm going to assume you already have your uh, new Blur FX version 3. If you don't have it, then you should get it. Probably it's free on the internet. Yeah. Uh, what you need to do is install it regularly the way you install. Then uh, you go to this PC for the case of uh, me I'm using uh, Windows 8 so if you're using Windows 7 it will be my computer then navigate to local disk C now in local disk C you go to program files Adobe then you look for Adobe CS5 CS6 so initially when you install the 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 new Blur FX it installs in uh, CS5, CS5.5 and CS6 it does not install in CC 2017, 2015 these ones so when you install it it creates uh, these files by themselves basically if, if, if you didn't have these these ones installed the, the CS5 and CS5.5 and if it's, it's, if it's not installed so it creates the folders here so you click on one then go to plugins then here then boom it is here so this is what you need so you, you copy the whole folder here so copy the whole folder go back to local disk C then to to all my programs program files Adobe then you navigate to which version of Adobe CC you want to install the new Blur FX? Now, for example, I want to install on my 2015 version 3, 2017 version 2017. So, uh, come to my 2015, uh, <coughs> look for the, uh, the, the directory folder, this one, yeah, yeah, plugin. So, I come, you come to this. This, this folder you see it this one yeah then me mine already pasted it here mm, for time being so it's essentially this one so you can right click and paste so me I will not paste because it's already pasted here now uh, you close here then uh, you open your Premiere Pro version this version 15 version uh, uh, version 3 so and uh, if you open it you'll find uh, you'll find the plugin already installed now remember if, if, if you're just doing this if you're just doing this from scratch uh, when you install it manually you, you, you close your program if it, if it has if it is not yet inside here if it's not yet inside here you close the program then you reopen the program it then it loads the, the plugins so right now <coughs> here we are and uh, um, I have some few clips here that I'm going to test with it to see whether it really works um, I think let me try the let me try one which one uh, okay let me go with any let me try with uh, let me introduce this roll and um boom <laughs> yeah yeah it's already there it's already working yeah see so when you apply it already works wow this is really interesting <laughs> wow <laughs> well okay um 
thanks for watching you guys um this tutorial is mainly meant for those people who know how to use this plugin and they already have it and if you really don't have it you go on the comment section below uh, leave a comment and um, tell me what you want me to do and i'm going to be bringing you these exciting tutorials all the time um, subscribe and give it a thumbs up try it out and tell me what it does hmm? whether it works for you uh, try it with different versions now I've used uh, 2015 version 3 and it can work with uh, 2016 2017 okay uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe